okay now we will be discussing the exercise solutions of force and pressure the first question give two examples each of situation in which you push or pull to change the state of motion of objects okay so we'll be giving two pull situations and two push situations let me write down the answer here number 1 so first let us mention pull situations under pull situation you can give two examples in order to open a, a drawer we have to pull it in order to open a drawer we have to pull it okay so what happen when we pull the drawer uh, the the action changes the state of motion of the drawer right in the next one in the next one what we need to do to draw water from well to draw water from a well what we need to do when we need to draw water from the well the rope is pulled the rope is pulled again because of this action what happen happens the state of motion changes right same way we have two push situations okay sorry let me write this number 2 push situations so what are the push situations push we can say uh we close the drawer drawer by pushing it by pushing same way another uh, uh, push we can give we move a wooden box by pushing it move a box by pushing it all right so two pull situations and two push situations done number 1 number 2 give two examples of situations in which applied force causes change in the shape of the object okay so if you want to uh, change the shape of the object when we apply force on a rubber band to stretch it or when we apply a force on a clay to change its state okay so we can write down when we apply a force on a clay or a dough its shape changes right also when we apply the when we apply a force on a rubber band when we stretch a rubber band by applying a force on it the shape changes all right so question number 2 also that question number 3 fill in the blanks first to draw water from a well we have to what you have to do you have to pull at the rope a charged body dash an uncharged body towards it attracts 
to move a loaded trolley, we have to dash it. We have to push it. D. The north pole of a magnet dash the north pole of another magnet repels. Like pole repels each other. Unlike poles attract each other. Alright. So, three also done. Now, coming to question number four. An archer stretches a bow, her bow, while taking aim at the target. She then releases the arrow, which begins to move towards the target. Based on this information, fill in the gaps in the following statements using the terms muscular, contact, non-contact, gravity, friction, shape and attraction. So, let us start. A. To stretch the bow, the arca applies a force that causes a change in its. What happens when you are stretching a bow? What is happening? A force is applied to change the shape. Right? How? You see, this is the bow, suppose. And what happens when we apply a force? We stretch it like this. So, initially the shape was this. On applying a force, the shape became like this. On stretching, the shape become like, became like this. So, shape changes, okay? Number B. The force applied by the archer to stretch the bow is an example of muscular force, right? Okay. Number C. The type of force responsible for the change in the state of motion of the arrow is an example of Contact force. Number D. While the arrow moves towards its target, the force acting on it due to dash and that due to dash of air. So, two forces are acting. One is when it is moving, that one force is acting which is gravity. And the other force that is acting which is in the air, that is friction of air. Which is also called drag. Okay. Now, question number five. In the following situation, identify the agent exerting the force and the object on which it acts. Also, state the effect of force in each case. Okay. So, first one is squeezing a piece of lemon between fingers to extract this juice. So, when you are squeezing, you are using your fingers. So, what are the agents over here? Wait. Just let me take you the black screen here so we have to identify the agent okay and then what we need to do we also have to identify the object on which it acts so let's make a column agent object on which it acts and also we need what effects it is causing so, we will make a separate column, column for effects. Okay. Now, let us write it down. Number one. When you are squeezing, you are squeezing with the help of your fingers. So, agents are fingers in the first case. Okay. And the object is lemon. And what effect it is doing? It is changing the shape of the lemon. Changes the shape of the lemon okay number two taking out paste from a toothpaste tube so when we take out the paste how do we do it fingers but through our fingers right we apply force using our fingers so again agent is fingers object is toothpaste tube and what is the effect Again, you see that the paste is coming out of the tube and the tube changes its shape. So, you can write down change in the shape of toothpaste tube. Okay, number three. A load suspended from a spring while its other end is on a hook fixed to a wall. So, in this case, agent is the load suspended because the weight of it is acting. 
load suspended or simply you can write the load okay and uh, the object is the spring on which the load is acting and what is the effect the elongation of the spring elongation of the spring okay on suspension of load again you can write simply write change in shape or size you can write all right question number 4 an athlete making a high jump to clear the bar at a certain height so when the athlete is taking a jump obviously what is acting the muscles of the athlete so over here the muscles of the athlete is the agent what is the object in this case the object is the athlete himself okay and what is happening it is changing the state of motion of the athlete changes the state of motion of the athlete okay so all four answered now let us go back to our ncert number 5 done number 6 a blacksmith hammers a hot piece of iron while making a tool how does the force due to hammering affect the piece of iron so when he hammers what happens due to the hammering there is a change in the shape of the iron and the iron can be molded in the shape of the required tool so what happens what is the effect how does the force affects the hammering piece of iron it changes the shape of the iron and it can be molded into the desired shape desired shape all right number 7 an inflated balloon was pressed against a wall after it was rubbed with a piece of synthetic cloth when you're rubbing the balloon with a piece of synthetic cloth you're charging it okay it was found that the balloon sticks to the wall obviously it became charged then when you brought it near the wall it stuck to it what force might be responsible for the attraction between the balloon and the wall obviously charges are getting developed so electrostatic force question number 8 name the forces acting on a plastic bucket containing water held above a ground level in your hand discuss why the force is acting on the bucket do not bring a change in its state of motion let us go back to the black screen to discuss this now uh suppose this is the bucket of water okay sorry if it's not looking like a bucket let me change it a bit a bucket of water and it is held in the hand against the force of gravity okay so if it is held above the ground level this is the ground level it is held above the ground level then what what are the two forces acting on it one is because you are lifting the bucket you are applying a muscular force acting in the upward direction okay so muscular force where is the muscular force acting acting in the upward direction acting upwards and since it is held above the ground level there is the force of gravity which is acting downward so force of gravity acting downward
all right so these are the two forces acting now you have to discuss why the force is acting on the bucket do not bring a change in its state of motion because we know that when forces act there is a change in uh, uh, certain criteria like certain effects are there either the state changes or the shape changes or the size changes something happens why are the force not bringing a change in its state of motion because both the forces are acting equal and opposite to each other since they are equal and opposite forces thus they cancel each other's effect since the two forces are equal and opposite equal and opposite what is happening they cancel each other's effect all right now let us go to the next question question number 9 a rocket has been fired upwards to launch a satellite in its orbit name the two forces acting on the rocket immediately after leaving the launching pad so when the rocket leaves the launching pad two forces acts on it number 1 is frictional force of air obviously it acts opposite to the direction of motion theek okay? hai so opposite you can say in opposite direction and the second one is obviously it's moving upward so the second force will be the gravitational force number 2 gravitational force of the earth this will be acting obviously downwards all right number 10 when we press the bulb of a dropper with its nozzle kept in water air in the dropper is seen to escape in the form of bubbles once we release the pressure on the bulb water gets filled in the dropper the rise of water in the dropper is due to atmospheric pressure i have explained this atmospheric pressure concept in my lecture you guys can check out the video if you need to understand it further okay so that's it if you need any kind of help please mention it in the comment section i'll be helping you out with that thank you and take care